Welcome to the Wide Orbit Automation for Radio mobile app. The following demonstration is for the iPad. Navigate to the AFR app on your iPad, the little red on air icon, and select it to open. If you have not logged on to the app before, you will be prompted to fill in your username, your password, and your server address and port. After these details have been entered, press the Sign In button. The application loads displaying the stack widget on the left and the main control area with the library widget on the right. The stack widget consists of two parts, the header and the list of elements. In the header, from the top, the name of the currently loaded radio station is displayed. If there are multiple radio stations configured and your user has permissions to switch between stations, you can select the radio station name and a list will appear allowing you to select a different radio station to view and edit. Below the station name is the countdown timer and automatic manual button. Pressing on this button will toggle the stack between automatic and manual modes. To the right of the countdown timer is the time of day clock and back timer, the stack widget status, and the reload and pause buttons. In both automatic and manual modes, pressing the pause button pauses the currently playing media asset. The play button, next to the on air event, will change to read paused. Pressing the pause button again resumes playback of the media asset. In both automatic and manual modes, clicking the play button next to the on air event will stop playback. The color of the reload button will change to orange. Pressing the orange reload button or the blank circle button next to the stopped media asset starts the playback of the stopped event from the beginning. Below the header is the list of events in the stack widget. This list is scrollable. To the left of each entry in the list are play buttons, which allow you to manually start any playable event in the stack widget. Pressing a play button for any item in the list of elements will immediately start playing that asset, fading out the previously playing audio. This functionality is active in both automatic and manual modes. Using the mobile AFR app, you may also change the position of any event in the stack. To do so, press and hold the item you wish to move. Wait until the blue border appears around the selected item, drag the selected item to the desired position, and release. Using this click and drag action, you may also delete items from the stack. To do so, press and hold the item you wish to delete, wait until the blue border appears around the selected item, Drag the selected item to the red Remove Media Asset from Stack Widget area to the right of the stack and release it. At the bottom of the stack widget is the Settings icon to adjust the configuration of the AFR for mobile app, as well as icon shortcuts to toggle between the Library, Hotkeys, and Playlist widgets in the main controls area. In the Settings menu, there are six options. Time Settings, Category Colors, Customize Widgets, Active Station, Microphone, and Sign Out. Under the Time Settings, when the Use Radio Station Time Zone setting is enabled, the time in the AFR mobile app will display for the time zone in which the connected radio station is located. When the 12 hours clock setting is enabled, the time of day clock and the times in the stack and playlist widgets display as 12 hour. When disabled, the time displays as 24 hour military time. Selecting the category colors setting opens a pop-up to set a color for the media asset text of a category in the stack, playlist, and library widgets. This setting is unique to each installed instance of the AFR mobile app.
The change is immediate and does not require a restart or log off. The Customize Widget setting will display the current configured containers and widgets in the AFR mobile app. The left-hand container, by default, will display the stack widget. Selecting a different widget will replace the stack in this container. The color of the container's outline will change to reflect the widget chosen. The green plus icon labeled Add Widget will allow you to add another container and a single default widget within that container. The color of the container's outline will change to reflect the widget chosen. At the top of this screen are three menu items. Reset will reset the configuration to the one previous and remain in the Customize Widget screen. Cancel exits the Customize Widget screen without saving any changes, and Done exits the Customize Widget screen, saving the layout changes. The Active Station setting allows you to switch between configured radio stations to view and edit. The Microphone settings allows you to choose the microphone input for recording voice tracks and other audio into the AFR for Mobile app. And Sign Out logs out of the AFR Mobile app and brings you back to the Sign In screen. We hope you enjoyed learning about the stack widget and app settings on the Wide Orbit Automation for Radio mobile app. If you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, please email us at afrvideos at wideorbit.com.